So another day of painting has arrived. Yet another beautiful blank canvas. Okay, on this one, I'm just adding a pure linseed oil here at the moment. Um, in the form of the composition, just to sort of oil the canvas, you can say it. Because it creates a lovely texture to work on. And I'm leaving the inside of the um, painting dry, where I'm going to actually add some pigment with the linseed oil. Right there in the middle, this is um, an ultramarine with a little bit of purple and a little bit of turquoise in it. So it's a very limited palette again in black, of course. And what I do is I put the pigment in the middle and just move it in slowly across into the raw linseed oil. Well, this is actually boiled in linseed oil. And I'm sort of there bleed in gently with a nice lubricated surface. And at this stage, it's just basically getting the, the rough there. That's got a lot more of the um, turquoise in it in that area. So there are subtle blends of color at this stage. And this is just getting the structure of the composition right. I've got this idea of a certain picture that I saw I'm using as a starting point, and then working into it and eventually breaking it down into something completely different. But in the beginning, it's good to have a nice um, point of reference to have something quite structural which i've got on the right i'm looking at anyway by now it's a very free process at this stage just to put down you know form composition and some tension in the mark making and so forth different angles like the bottom and then here in the middle is going to be a kind of a burnt sienna that is a burnt sienna a brownie where i'm going to put some black with it with a kind of a nebula star dust Thing happening in a sense I have no idea what it is but does it really matter and um, yeah it's because of creating a little bit of tension or some nice little compositional change and then um, bring out the cloth and now with the cloth rub into it and play with it and sort of find a happy medium a happy bit of texture a happy nice variations because the canvas is very wet at this stage with the linseed oil and the paint and it lends itself to, to a cloth because the cloth does create beautiful little, uh, some tone there it needs a little bit more felt yeah just a personal thing and um, the cloth does give it a nice natural feel at this stage because I'm basically laying down and underpainting for for me to work on top of when it dries something that's got interesting texture and I can work into and the cloth does provide that at this, at this, in this early phase and one doesn't really want to get too precious at this stage and also the, the top right as you can see has been painted yet so I'll come back to that I'll bring it to the bottom and maybe bring some some orange some reds and siennas into that area to create a little bit of variation in the, in the, in the color in the hues of the painting to, and now in this this here I'm just basically you know drying the brush with a cloth and very gently rubbing it across to sort of take off some of the linseed oil and that's fine now just kind of turn the painting hello turn the painting around and that's that was the top right corner and put some um, some I think yellow um, burnt siennas and blacks and touches of green keep the other corner slightly on more on the reddish reddish side so here i'm just putting some tone and then adding the reds on towards the middle to slightly overlap with the greens and then in one area here i'm going to actually put a bit more vermilion red there into the red just give it a bit of a highlighter kick As you can see i'm just adding the paint on quite blotchily and now with a cloth see i can just play with it it just gives a lovely little texture then with the dry brush, I mean I'm hardly even touching the paint here. With the brush I just very very gently fluff it across just to move the paint and to soften the edges and then it creates this natural texture which sort of just um, really does look very very nice and it's a very lovely surface to work on later. And then with a the smaller brush tenderly just rub over the paint just to sort of wash it in and uh, process just carries on for a bit here and there so that once it dries now 
and give me a lovely surface to work on with variations and it doesn't create depth. This is a very thin paint at this stage. This is a nice little detailed example here of the cloth dabbing it and pushing it and pulling it across and with a smaller little brush just gently you can see how the paint just moves and settles down and gets ready for its fortnightly sleep <laughs> to sort of you can see the shine of the linseed oil there and that's it and this is as far as the first one has gotten now for the first stage I turn it around see it from another angle and it can go to sleep until the next one so there will give me a lovely surface to work on